I think there are a lot of people who are kind of enthusiastic about the idea of someone who's not a corpse running, but also the idea of, you know, that this is the second chance to for the United States to potentially elect a woman to be the president, uh, a second opportunity to have an African-American president, or at least a partially African-American president, and, and there's just a lot of things I think people are excited about her as a candidate. Now, the number one thing she's going to need, the number one thing any candidate that's going to be running on the Democratic side to be the president needs is uh, the ability, well, is the ability to debate Trump, and and I think that's a difficult task because I, I Trump is such an interesting and more difficult guy to debate because he doesn't really debate you. Um, Trump is the first presidential candidate I've ever seen that kind of just turns it into a WWE insult style contest, and nobody's better at making pro wrestling or making politics pro wrestling than Donald Trump, and nobody's better at pro wrestling than Donald Trump in politics. So he's such a natural showman that I think his strategy in most debates, especially now that, you know, after everything that's happened to him and everything that, you know, since he's been the president and everything that he said and all the stuff that's kind of happened in his, his inner circle, I think his strategy is kind of to use personal insults and use kind of talking shit to throw you off your game and and what the democrats need is somebody who can weather that storm and kind of just focus in on the issues at hand and actually stay on topic because it's the that's you know the number one thing that really crushed trump in 2020 number one was COVID because the COVID obliterated the economy and we all were stuck in our houses uh doing nothing (laughs) you know so i think that that really hurt um Obviously, anybody's chances of potentially win, nobody would have won re-election under those circumstances. Like that, I, as much as I am not a big fan of Donald Trump and his platform, I I don't think anybody could have won uh, re-election in 2020 just because of how much of a shit show 2020 had been and the, the years the year before that. But I also believe a big part of the reason his campaign failed so poor or failed yeah i mean failed so flat on it so flatly was because he it, his kind of because what he did in 2016 it, it was such a novelty because in 2016 he was the first candidate we'd ever seen really use the platform to instead of promote his like message he would just talk shit about the other candidates and i think it landed because we had never really seen something like that before. And the other candidates were so, you know, especially on the Republican side, were so like baffled. And so like, they were just kind of almost a st- stunned by some of the stuff he would say to them. And it was the same with Hillary Clinton when he would debate her, like, you know, like the classic one liner when she was like, you know, what was it? You know, thank God you've never been president. And he was just like, yeah, cause you'd be in jail. Like, she just, you could tell how flustered she would get sometimes that they, these polished politicians are just not ready for these hyper personal insults that he hurls at them. And so it becomes like, then they throw something at him, you know, about either one of his affairs or one of the scandals he's been in, like, you know, Trump University and all that stuff that he's done. And then he throws something back at them and they turn it into this, like, almost back and forth kind of battle between like insult like i said like a wwe like pro wrestling when you watch uh two wrestlers argue with each other and then they eventually fight and one of them goes through a table like it, it was like that and nobody in politics is going to be trump in that because he's he's a natural he's you know he's been a shit talking you know con man his whole life that's that, that's his shtick that's his thing and you're not going to outdo him in his shtick. <laughs>